Now, keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. All right, all summer we've been keeping track of the 100 degree days. It just mm -hmm. keeps kind of adding up. <laughs> but the good news is, I don't think we're ever going to reach last year's total. I don't think it's possible. We're not as hot as we were last summer. 44 days of 100 degree heat last year. Today through yesterday, we've had 17 days. Today will be number 18. But Dina, mm -hmm. you're right. It's not as hot in Tulsa this summer as it was last summer. So uh, a little bit of good news yeah, for you. Yeah, there's some positive for you. It is a hot afternoon, which will be underway across green country. Here's what we'll see today. Hot and the wind cups are spinning. The wind is a bit stronger today compared to the last several days, so a bit breezy for you for your Tuesday afternoon. Eastern Oklahoma will see high temperatures between 98 and 104. Here's what you can expect for the rest of your morning into the afternoon. Mid-90s at noon, but it will feel hotter with the heat index. And as we near 3 p.m., we'll see temperatures approaching 100 degrees. Looking out over Midtown, over the B.A., the temperature at 92 degrees. Heat index of 97. The south breeze at 17 miles an hour. So one of the stronger winds that we've seen recently. It's also humid as the dew point temperature hovers near 70. Most of us in the 90s. The trend is for slightly hotter temperatures to the north of Tulsa. Mid-90s showing up in of Bartlesville, where it's 96, 92 in Pryor, 91 Tahlequah, 92 Ogmulgee, a little cooler into southeastern Oklahoma with upper 80s, a south and somewhat southwest wind across green country, and the wind has picked up since this morning. Most wind speeds are at 15 miles an hour, and will continue with wind near 10 to 20 miles an hour for this afternoon. Across the region, huge area of summer high pressure is still controlling our weather. One change that we are going to see, though, the next few days, this high is going to weaken slightly, which is going to allow for a weak cool front to move in. That's where our rain chance is going to come from. Now, today's weather staying dry. Viper 2 HD not showing any rain in eastern Oklahoma, but we are going to be watching a cool front organizing up to our north. Now, this front is not going to bring us very much cooling, if any cooling. However, with this boundary, with this front pushing its way into the heat, we will see showers and thunderstorms developing Thursday afternoon. So, Thursday afternoon, also possible into Thursday evening and early Friday. That's when our next best chance for rain and thunderstorms will be. Across green country this afternoon, now yesterday we did see one or two small showers developing. Can't rule that out this afternoon, mainly south of Tulsa, but the rain chances are so small, we won't even mention a percentage. So generally dry weather today, quiet weather tonight, and tomorrow's forecast more the same. Sunshine, a few clouds, and rain chances remaining less than 10% across green country. And of course, more 100s are ahead. This afternoon forecasting 102 for Tulsa, a south wind of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Most all of green country today seeing highs at or over 100. This includes over 100 into Bartlesville, southeastern Kansas, Stillwater near 103, and 101 toward Eufaula, Ogmulgee, and Henrietta. Warm tonight, 80 in Tulsa, and we'll see low to mid 70s for lows outside of Tulsa County. And there will be a breeze, a south wind. Now, the seven day forecast, a change we've made since the morning data, raising the forecast high on Thursday out ahead of the cool front, but also raising the rain chances. And we will likely probably need to go up from 40%. So showers and thunderstorms will be possible to likely in green country on Thursday. Dan Threll Kell will have more on the rain chance tonight at 5, 6, and 10. But all the new weather data we keep looking at is looking more and more encouraging Good. for a decent chance of rain and thunderstorms by Thursday. We'll take whatever we can get, mm -hmm. really. Thanks, George. Well,